Facebook's making a what? If you say so. How's it going everybody? This is Dave LeClaire with MUO Tech Bytes and we're here to take a look at the biggest tech news stories from the last couple of days. So why don't you all kick back, relax, and let's get it on with our first story of the day right about now. Now kicking things off with our first story, apparently Facebook is working on a smartwatch, which sounds rather crazy at first, but when you think about it, Facebook is already deep in the hardware game. They own Oculus, they make the Facebook portal. It only makes sense for them to want to get more data on its users through something like a smartwatch. Now, according to the report, the watch will be heavily integrated with Facebook Messenger, which makes sense. That's Facebook's messaging platform. And it will also feature cellular data, so it will be able to connect without needing another device, meaning it won't be dependent on a smartphone. Instead, the watch should be able to function on its own. Now, again, this is all a rumor at this point, so we can't confirm that this watch is true, but if it ends up coming out, we'd also expect to see it come with fitness tracking data, such as steps and calories burned, and all the other standard features that you get from a smartwatch. It could even feature what WhatsApp support as Facebook does own WhatsApp. Recently, Facebook Zuckerberg was quoted saying that Apple is actually one of Facebook's biggest competitors. And at the time that seemed like a crazy statement as Apple makes hardware primarily and Facebook is a social network. But if you think about it with Facebook trying to get more into the hardware game, it actually does make sense. Now the question is, do you want Facebook to have more of your data? Or if you do use a smartwatch, would you rather a company like Apple have that data? Or maybe Google through Fitbit? Because kind of no matter how you think about it, somebody's gonna access your fitness data if you're using a smartwatch. Just a matter of who do you trust. And while we're on the topic of Apple, Volkswagen CEO actually spoke about the idea of an Apple car and apparently they are not at all afraid of Apple entering the car market. Herbert Dice, who is the CEO of Volkswagen, has zero fear of Project Titan apparently. And that's because of how hard it is to get into the car market. It's not as simple as just saying, hey, we're Apple, we're making a car, and boom, you instantly have success. Here's the direct quote from Volkswagen's CEO. The car industry is not a typical tech sector that you could take over at a single stroke. Apple will not manage that overnight. Still, we are not afraid. Lately, Apple does seem to have the Midas touch when it comes to its devices. Its iPhone, its smartwatch, its earbuds, its laptops, pretty much everything the company releases has been a success. Now, obviously a car is a much bigger investment for consumers than something like a watch or a phone. You're talking, you know, upwards of 30, 40, $50,000 compared to 300 to thousand dollars. But still, if the company is able to take what people love about its Apple devices and put it in a car, maybe Volkswagen should be afraid. Now, the reason we're talking about a comment from the Volkswagen CEO is it just further lends credence to the fact that this Apple car is indeed coming and that people in the automotive industry are very aware of its presence. He wouldn't even speak on the Apple car if the Apple car was some distant concept that's not coming for 10 years. It wouldn't even be on his radar. But the fact that he's bringing it up means that the Apple car could be here in the relatively near future. And if you're still not sure, just remember how Palm reacted when Apple first announced the iPhone and look at where Palm is now, and look at where Apple is now. In another story related to Apple, BitPay is bringing Bitcoin support to Apple Wallet, which means you can add stuff into your Apple Pay account. You can actually pay for stuff in the real world with Bitcoin. So not only are they a nice commodity to hold on to, but they're about to become a whole lot more useful for actually paying for things out in the real world. Basically, BitPay users in the US can add their prepaid Bitcoin card into Apple Wallet and use it in the same way they would any other debit card or credit card through Apple's payment service. So whether you wanna make contactless physical payments in stores, you wanna pay friends, you wanna order things online, it doesn't really matter how you wanna use it, if a place accepts Apple Pay or your friend accepts Apple Pay or a website accepts Apple Pay, you'll be able to use this prepaid card to use your Bitcoin, and we think that is pretty awesome. Normally when we talk about Canon, we're talking about some piece of new hardware. Either the company has a cool new lens or a cool new mirrorless camera or some DSLR or a video camera. But today we're actually gonna talk about a Canon app. Canon has a new app called Photo Culling and with a yearly or monthly subscription, the app will go through your camera roll and it'll help you choose the best photos. Similar to what Google Photos does, but it'll do it through Canon instead of Google Photos. And you know Canon knows pictures. I mean, that's literally what the company has been working on for the last however many years the company has existed is cameras and other photo technology. So if there's one company that I would trust to help me choose my pictures, it's probably Canon. Now as mentioned, there is a subscription. It's $14.99 a year or $2.99 a month. Not too bad if you're really into getting good photos and putting them up on the web and sharing them with people. Having an AI that can sift through the garbage and find the really good photos for you that your naked eye may not be able to detect the subtle differences between is actually a pretty cool thing. At 15 bucks a year, it's not really gonna break the bank if you are a heavy smartphone photographer. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. This has been another episode of MUO Tech Bites where we love to bring you the coolest news from the last few days. 
from the world of technology. We will be here every day bringing you all this goodness, so make sure to subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one.